Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we brought you the best in books, entertainment, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Now, here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. Whether you're tuning in on the radio dial here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM, we welcome you all to our program. Also, those joining us are various affiliates around the world online. We appreciate you all being with us as well. JoJo Siwa is making her first appearance on our program today. And when I say that name, you all know, may know her for different reasons. You know her from the show Dance Moms. You know her because of her large social media following, as well as her work with anti-bullying and what she's been able to do to really show the importance of being true to yourself. Well, this year she's adding a new title to her name, that of author. Her new book, JoJo's Guide to the Sweet Life, is out now. I had a chance to write my review on Amazon.com. We'll remind you at the end of our segment how you can get it for yourself. We're going to talk to JoJo not only about her life, but also what it's been like for her to inspire so many people around the world, and also what she hopes you're able to learn not only about her life in the book, but also what's possible for you. JoJo, hello to you and welcome to the program. Hi there. How are you doing? Hey, doing really good, JoJo. To kick us off, I have a, a special uh, guest that actually sent in a question from Louisville, Kentucky. She's one of your big fans. Her name is Aubrey Dixon. And, and her, her question uh, to you is this. Do you think you will be a singer or a dancer uh, when, when you grow up, or is there something else that you want to do? I, I definitely think, okay, um, you know, that's actually, like, one of the hardest questions for me to answer because I'm still, like, I, like, had this set thing on I was, like, performing. I was going to be, like, a performer, and, like, I was going to go up to do singing and dancing all the time. But now I'm like, well, maybe I want to do a little bit of acting in there, too. And so I think uh-huh. a lot of people grow up and they do either or. I think I want to grow up and I want to do both. Got you, got you. Well, you know, that, that says a lot, uh, JoJo, and it also says a lot of what, what I learned about you in this book. Of course, when people see you on television, they think they know who you are, but in this book, A JoJo's Guide to the Sweet Life, you let us into what your life was like growing up, what it was like for you to have the support of your family. Do you think that family support, JoJo, has been one of the big reasons why you've been able to not only do the things that you've done, but also can think about bigger things that you can do? Oh, 100%. I mean, without my family, literally none of this would be possible. They have been, like, my biggest supporters throughout my whole whole journey. And so, like, just to think, like, that I have such amazing people behind me, like, it's unbelievable. Right. You know, I, I think, you know, I, I heard the single a Boomerang when I was prepping for this segment with you, JoJo, and, and one of the things that you say in that single that, again, is available through our friends at Amazon uh, is that you don't care what people say that you're going to bounce back, you know, like a boomerang. How did you get to that place where you didn't allow what people had to say about you to affect you? You know, for me, actually, I get bullied a lot more on social media. And so Mm -hmm. it's hard when people comment, you know, like, you're fat, you're ugly, you're rude, you're brat, I hate you, you're annoying, all all this stuff. And it's just, like, it's terrible. And so I was like, I don't want other people to have to go through that, so what can I do to make a change? And I was like, let's make a song. And so we made Boomerang. I got together with a few writers, and Mm -hmm. I told them exactly what what I wanted to write about. I was like, I think this would be a really good idea. They were like, all right, let's do it. So then we wrote the lyrics, and they came up with the background music, and then we sang it, and we did it. And now, no, like, I can't even tell you, no one expected this success that it has right now. Like, this is just unbelievable. I mean, uh, like, literally almost 400 million views. Like, that is just insane. Right. Exactly. I think that is the big thing. And, and JoJo, I think that also that confidence you have definitely comes through in the book. You address confidence in JoJo's Guide. In fact, one of the parts is JoJo's Guide to Being Confident. And one of the things that you say in the book is to know who you are. I was really impressed when I was watching footage when I was prepping for your segment. And when you were receiving an award recently by Nickelodeon, one of the things that you, you wanted to make sure that you mentioned was where you're from, Omaha, Nebraska. I do the same thing when it comes to Mississippi, letting people know I'm a proud Mississippian. Why has that been so important for you, JoJo? You know, I think it's fun because I think people think that I just grew up in Hollywood. And I think that they just think that I have a lucky life of a little kid who grew up in Beverly Hills. And that's not the story. The story is, is that I am a little kid from a little town in Nebraska. I grew up. I followed my dreams. I worked really, 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 really so hard. And now look what I'm doing. Like, it's crazy. Unbelievable. Yeah, 
I think that is the thing, and that is why so many people look up to you. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, either on the radio side or online, you're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome JoJo Siwato, our program today. JoJo is celebrating the release of her brand new book. It's called JoJo's Guide to the Sweet Life. It's available now through our friends at Amazon.com or through your favorite bookstore. We'll remind you of that at the end of the segment. Uh, one of the, the hashtags that you have on the cover of the book, JoJo, is Peace Out Haters. Of course, hashtags are a big part of this, as well as the community that you've been able to form. Do you still have those wow moments, JoJo, when you look at your fans around the world and all the support that you're getting? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's crazy. Like, I'm in New York right now, and these people come up to me, and they have, like, this really cool accent. I'm like, where are you from? They're like, Israel. And I'm like, oh, my <laughs> God. Like, I have fans in Israel. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And and there is work that you give us to do in this book as well. You give us, of course, your story, as I mentioned earlier. You give us some great tips, Jojo, but also the opportunity to add our own voice, and that is to be able to write in the book, to kind of make it our own, to make it personalized. I mean, why was that important for you to do, to not only to let the, the audience know more about you, but also to get them to thinking about themselves, their friends, and, and the people around them? You know, something about this book that I realized is that I think it's really important for kids to be really involved and for kids to be really interested and want to keep reading and so like I think it's really fun for them when they get to like interact with it and so it's like it's cool because my generation now loves YouTube so like there's a part in the book that's like now go watch this on YouTube take a little break from reading so like it's like it's really fun how I I understand what kids are and what they like and so it's cool that I get to relate to them in a book. Right. Uh, one of the best pictures for me was on page 156 of the book. Uh, Jojo, there we see you with this huge, huge uh, uh, bale of mail. Uh, <laughs> you know, of course, uh, your fans love to be able to connect with you. I mean, that expression on your face, uh, and I think you know what picture I'm talking about, says so much. I mean, talk to us about that. When you kind of get those messages online and even letters, I mean, how does that make you feel? It's crazy. Like, we have, so I have a fan mail address, and literally, I've gotten probably 5,000 things. Like, it's unbelievable, and we actually, we respond to it all. Like, it's, it's just so crazy. It's so amazing. Like, it's unbelievable. Yeah. The last thing I want to mention, JoJo, that you have done really well, that you encourage your audience to be able to do, and all of those who read the book, is to know your squad, know the people around you. Why has it been so important for you to make sure that you have people around you that are encouraging you, but also pushing you for it? You know, it's really, that's really just like about knowing who you can trust and knowing who your friends are. And knowing who you yeah. can tell things to. Like, for me, I can tell every single thing to my mom. Anything. Every single thing. any, Literally, like, anything. Um, and, you know, you might have to be more careful about what you say around other people. And so that's just really about knowing who your friends are and knowing, like, who you're, like, close with. And then also knowing who you have to be careful around what you say. But my right. book will tell you more about it. Can't spoil all exactly. the secrets. Exactly, exactly, JoJo. And we definitely want people to be able to get the book. Again, the book is called JoJo's Guide to the Sweet Life, available now. JoJo, let our audience know how they can stay connected with you and kind of keep up with what's going on next for you. You can actually, you can follow me everywhere at It's JoJo Siwa. That's I-T-S-J-O-J-O-S-I-W-A. All right. Well, JoJo, again, congratulations to you on the book and all the great things going on with you. And looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you. Hey, you're more than welcome, JoJo. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. If you all came in late, you missed part of the conversation with JoJo, don't worry. Thanks to our online friends. You all can catch the replay right after we go off the air. The link is already available through our social media links. So head over to Facebook.com slash Cyrus Webb or go over to Twitter.com slash Cyrus Webb. If you click on the link there, you can listen to the show completely for free and share with your friends from there, too. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying, as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Make sure you take out time to enjoy some good music as well as a great book. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. You all make it a great one.